My name is Kenji Yang, and I'm the production designer for Room Rodeo. Uh, what a production designer does is they help to work with the director and come up with the overall look of the entire film. Um, they work very close with the director and the DP to figure out the theme and the motifs that is going to be on screen. And then it's up to the production designer to define and <clears throat> come up with everything else for the rest. So what I did as the production designer on Room Rodeo was, um, I mean, I guess if I start from the top, I broke down the script and really just try to understand the story itself. My first reading of the script, I really enjoyed the story itself. I really like this unique perspective they had. I haven't really heard before as well. And so I thought it was a very um, touching and powerful tale. <clears throat> production design wise, I thought it was a very cool and interesting way. I haven't worked on a project like this before. So as a designer for this project, I thought it'd be fun to um, try something new. I haven't tried. I haven't really done any Western type of thing before. So um, <clears throat> production design in this project was, <clears throat> was a fun process for me. I haven't <clears throat> worked on a project like this this big in a long time. So it was it was a a good test for myself to see um, if I still got my production designing skills, I guess. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, as a designer for this film, though, it was it was a lot. It was very production design heavy, so I um, luckily was able to get some help um, and find, have a good team with me to help me get this project done so I, I could have not done this by myself. Not just my art team, but the whole crew itself was a huge help in trying to get this project done, which I really appreciate. Um, <clears throat> everyone was very passionate. And it was a pleasure working with everybody. A point in the story, the Jamil's room flips into a barn room and that was a, a really fun process. Um, I had to do some like some research into looking like what a barn even looks like on the inside. Um, but yeah, that was really fun to also just like, you know, get really creative and try to flip, you know, this set of a bedroom into like a completely like 180 different type of room and try to make it work and sell as like a bond. So that was a really fun process as well. Kind of daunting at first, not gonna lie, but um schedule really helped to just kind of, you know, make things look realistic or put things into perspective. So yeah, that process was really fun. Me and my um construction coordinator. Um you know it wasn't too bad. I'll we tackled it, got some wallpaper, got some old wood made it like a barn door and just went to work. And, you know, I, I'm really happy with how the barn turned out once we were done. I think the, the, the like hay, um, the hay, putting hay on the floor and stuff really sold the look of that. Some of the little touches I really enjoyed creating for the bedroom set. Jamil or the drawing. <laughs> I really enjoyed kind of drawing with um, little kid drawings as well as <clears throat> finding the, the cowboy toys. Surprisingly, it was surprisingly I, I really struggled with trying to find like a the African American type of cowboy toy. So I had to make them, which was harder than I thought to try to find like the right size toys for the clothes that I found for the doll. So that was that was a challenge I didn't expect to have. That was really, really fun. I'm really happy with how that toy turned out in New York. Um, I think I just like the overall little touches, you know, the the random toys, the books, the the bed sheets, the the color palette of the room overall. It's really 
I think it works well together. Yeah, I think I think we went with that more of an orange color because it kind of has like a warmer feel. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, initially, I don't know. I, I haven't really messed with type of warmer color for like a bedroom like that, and I'm really happy with how it worked out. I think um, it shows kind of like Kimo's character where he's kind of like this, <clears throat> he's like a, a warm, a warm soul. I think. He's a <clears throat> he's a kind kid, you know. He's very interested in cowboys and all the other stuff. Stuff, but um, I think that that goes with Matt. The color matches who he is inside. It's just a warm per personality. So yeah, uh, the Bill Pickett flyer, you know. It's supposed to be like a kind of like a family heirloom, it's like very old, kind of worn down flyer of the supposed great grandfather. Um, so I was in, I printed off a piece of paper of the flyer we're gonna use, and I was wearing it down, you know, kind of just crinkling it up, kind of getting some some wear and tear in it a little bit, and. I kind of threw it in my pocket a bunch to kind of, you know, kind of try to get like a authentic, like, you know, wear and tear. I'll just leave it in my pocket. And then I, I forgot it was in my pocket. I did some laundry and I went back to check and it was just completely gone. So I was like, dang it. Um, I had to print off a new one and start the whole process over, but it was okay. <laughs> it worked out in the end, so. I guess something else in my process is kind of just when I'm whenever I'm set, uh, when I'm on set, I I try to be prepared as possible, but you know things never go the way you plan. So I think just planning, being ready for the unexpected, and figuring out things on the fly, I I think I really enjoy that as well. <clears throat> you know, I'm kind of very much of a yes person when working with like a DP or a director, you know, I always enjoy seeing out their ideas and trying my best to come up to, you know, bring their ideas to life, no matter what it is, even if it's like super overly ambitious. Um, I try to accommodate as best as possible because I really enjoy, you know, helping people out and bringing their vision to life, whatever it is. I think that's my strong suit. I think um, my favorite thing about working on the room rodeo artistically was just, I love the, the portrait shots. I think those are really cool um, to get really artistic with those. And I think um, sets look really cool. You know, the, the actors in the costumes and stuff, I think that look really cool all together. And I'm really excited to see how that comes together in the film. <clears throat> 